Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Dropbox. So every time I do an episode that has something to do with file sharing, I have somebody write into me to recommend Dropbox. Dropbox is a great utility that allows you to share files between your Macs and between other people. Let's take a look at exactly what it does. So what Dropbox does after you install it is to create a new folder in your user folder called Dropbox. You can put files in here and create folders, do whatever you want, and what Dropbox will do is it will automatically sync all your files and folders and any changes you make to this folder to a copy of your Dropbox folder at the Dropbox website. Now here's where it gets interesting. If you have a second Mac and you install Dropbox on it, you can sync the two Macs, use the same Dropbox. So you have your first Mac, say your desktop Mac, you put a file in your Dropbox there. It will automatically sync up to the Dropbox server and then sync to your second Mac, say your laptop. So anything that you put in your Dropbox folder on one Mac will instantly appear in the Dropbox folder on the other Mac. And as you make changes back and forth, they always stay in sync. You also get this menu bar item that appears up here. You can click on it to open the Dropbox folder or go to Dropbox Preferences. You can also share files with other people. You can create shared folders inside your Dropbox folder that another Dropbox user can look at. You can invite them to. So you can have, say, a collection of photos or some documents that you're collaborating on and put them in a shared folder and then you can make changes to them and so could somebody else who also shares that folder. Another cool thing you can do is you can publicly share a file. So you can set it on the web interface to be public and it will give you a URL. You can email that URL to somebody. And it's a great way to email somebody, say, a 100 megabyte video file without having to send the file as an attachment in an email. While Dropbox is not a substitute for Time Machine for backing up, it is very useful for backing things up while traveling. If you're traveling with your MacBook and don't have access to your Time Machine drive at home, you can put things in your Dropbox folder, know that they'll be synced up to the cloud whenever you're connected, and if something happens to the original files on your MacBook, then you've got copies of them on your Dropbox folder and you can access them from your other Macs when you get home. Now Dropbox is free if you use 2 gigabytes or less. You can also get some pro plans for 50 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes at $10 or $20 per month respectively. You can also access your files outside of your Mac. If there's a computer that doesn't have Dropbox installed, you can simply log on to the website and view and download the files there. There's also a free iPhone app that gives you access to your files and will even let you view most file formats, things like PDFs and images, right on your iPhone. I should also mention that Dropbox is not the only player in the space. Its main competitor is probably iDisk, which is part of MobileMe. So if you already have MobileMe, you may want to use iDisk instead. Also, there's some other third parties. For instance, there's Drop.io, Sugarsync.com, and ZumoDrive.com. There's probably several others out there as well. But since the basic 2 gigabyte plan for Dropbox is free, you might as well download it and give it a try. You'll probably find it useful, especially if you have more than one Mac. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.